Hey Deckers, I've got a bit of a surprise for you today. I've got a very different style of Steam Deck dock, thanks to Park Song. Huge thanks to Apesa Amazon Store for sending this one over for a review and sponsoring this video so you don't have to worry about any ads. Check out the Apesa Store on Amazon. They sell a bunch of other Steam Deck accessories as well as a whole host of other stuff as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the dock itself. As I said, it's much larger than the other docks that I have had pleasure of testing so far. However, there is a couple of big advantages to this. One, it's a bit more weightier and a lot more sturdy. And two, this is the first case that's properly fitted the JSOX kickstand case. So you can see that the viewing angle is a bit more forward here, but it is sitting in there very solid. And if you look closely, it does fit in without jamming and it does fit flat as well. This also sits a bit higher than a lot of the other docks that I've used, which was a little bit unnerving with the official dock because it was so small, but because this has the extra weight and length on it, it sits very nicely. I must admit when it's not in a case, the viewing angle on this is extremely nice because it sits a little bit further back. When it's sat on the desk in front of you, if you've just got the Steam Deck screen up, it does sit very nice. Whereas if it's in the case, it does sit a bit further forwards, but the viewing angle is still very nice. Okay, let's get everything connected up then. As you saw from the start, we've got three USB 3. And for some reason, they opted for a separate USB cable rather than a fixed one for the connector, which does make the loop a little bit bigger. But it does also make it extremely handy for storage because it can fold right down you can take the cable out rather than having a fixed cable in place. Slight annoyance is that this does have a white LED on the back so it will light up your desk slightly in dark light but it's not that noticeable compared to some of the others that we have tested with the bright blue LED. They also sent over a one and a half meter USB-C cable that they wanted us to show off. This is a standard USB-C cable but it does have the transfer rate and it is power rated as well. So I have used this with the power bank and also the unofficial USB charger that does output more than 45 watts, powering the dock off of here, and I've had no warnings at all. So it is extremely well power rated. So do check out the link for the cable in the description below as well. So onto the performance side, 4K was not an issue. And I did keep it in scaled mode so you can see that this is true 4K and this video is in 4K as well. So you can see that no issues at all with the 4K picture. So browsing the internet and messing around in Steam Deck desktop mode was not an issue at all. I did have my mouse and keyboard plugged in as well. So I was using the full range of the three USB ports as I did also plug in a NVMe storage dive to test on Windows and that was also perfectly fine. So running in just Steam desktop mode, I thought I'd give Rotato a try in 4K and I did put a full video up of the gameplay of this because I just was so impressed with how good this looked. So you can see that in desktop mode that 4K is not an issue in just the standard games. And if I switch over to gameplay mode, now what you'll notice is that in game mode especially, your display resolution will fix to 1280 by 720 or 1280 by 800 and your monitor or your TV will automatically scale. So from a distance it generally looks okay but if you get up close you can notice those differences. So if you are running in game mode what you'll need to do is go into your game mode settings for the game with properties and switch the default resolution under general up to the 4k. This should also work with the native, but I wanted to make sure that it did actually have the full 4K here. And then you'll be able to play in game. However, the Steam Deck can't really handle games in 4K unless they're simple, like the Brotato game. As you can see here, the frame rate on Spider Man at 4K is really not very good. Although it does look absolutely fantastic, it's not really playable at 4K. However, if you put it at 1440p on low settings and let the FSR scale the rest of this up to 4K, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So if you do want to play on a much better resolution than that 800p, you can easily push 1440p around 30 FPS on low on things like Spider-Man, and now you'll be playing console quality on your Steam Deck. So there we go, that's the Parksung Steam Deck dock, no issues on the 4K content, 
a little bit weightier and priced around the higher price point of the other docks. Let us know in the comments below if this is one that you want to pick up. And if you do decide to pick it up, please use the links in the description below as it will really help us for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.